so we can place all of the uh, results that are returned from search.php inside here and that's going to happen every time a user presses a key uh, and then that key comes up from their keyboard so this will happen instantly okay so nothing really else is required on index.php we've included search.php so we're going to go ahead and write that code just in just a moment however we've got our input field and our div just here so when we ref refresh now uh, not refresh this refresh our page we have this input field here so let's go ahead and just say start searching there so it looks a bit more user friendly so we can start our search here for example we type London every time we press a key down and then it's released from our keyboard we're going to be calling um, or performing a function in in search.js uh, like I said which will return results from search.php and then they will be placed into here so hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you understand the link between each of these files let's go ahead and create an event handler for this input field in search.js so we're going to use a selector to select the search input field remember we use a hash to select an ID uh, in this case the ID has the value of search so uh, we've written search just in here and then we need to uh, use the event handler key up now when key up is pressed we want to perform or when key up happens we want to perform a function inside here and the contents of this function will obviously go in between these curly brackets I'm gonna move these down just slightly uh, so we can write our code in here and it looks nicely we indent it so now what we want to do is go ahead and test this key up event so I'm gonna just place an alert uh, inside of here and we'll just say something or we'll just write key up and that will indicate us uh, the event and how it works or indicate to us how it works so let's go ahead and type a character I'm going to type a and you see that we get this input uh, key up now this should give you a good clue as to how this is now going to work every time we type a letter uh, or a character on our keyboard we're going to send the result of this this entire contents of this input field to our search.php file and then that will in turn return the results so we'll be able to handle this quite easily now and that should give you an idea of how it works so the first thing to do is obviously re uh, retrieve the value uh, of the input field return whatever is inside of this so we're going to create a new var and I'm going to call this search underscore term now that's going to be equal to and we use the this selector and that this here essentially references this uh, search field here we reference uh, here so this dot val will return the value within this text field so now what we can do is go ahead and alert search underscore term and what's going to happen now is when we type a key you can see that it returns the result of the uh, field now if I t was to go ahead and type an L you can see it returns the updated value E it returns uh, that and X again it returns the updated value so we now know that we have an updated value uh, every time we type a key so we can send this search term variable to search.php in order to perform our search uh, on the value of this field so now what we want to do is go ahead and actually send the request so we're going to be using the post HTTP request in jQuery now this takes um, three parameters in this case the file that we're going to send to the variable set and also a callback function now we'll look at the callback function here in just a moment however we know where the file uh, is that we want to send the results to and that's search.php now that's located inside the PHP folder in my directory structure so let's go ahead and take a look at the directory structure you can see that we've got index.php which is the file we're working with here search.js is within the uh, JavaScript folder or the JS folder here and PHP contains uh, some files uh, like search.php and db.php which we have open here so inside search.js we want to send this to php forward slash search.php now the variables that we want to send uh, we return a, a key um, so the uh, name of the variable and then the search term so I'm gonna call the variable search term and this here has nothing to do with this here uh, this is the variable name that we pick up inside our PHP and we want to send this with the value search term 
So this here corresponds to this uh, search term that we've retrieved and we send it as a variable called search term. So these aren't to be uh, confused with equaling each other. Okay, so finally we want a callback function and the reason we take our callback function is so we re can return the data sent back from search.php. So we go ahead and create a function outline here. Inside here is what happens after this request has been complete, so we can pull that down. So in here what we want to do is go ahead and display results. And by displaying results, uh, what I mean is uh, inputting the results into this div, so changing the uh, contents of this div. However, we need a variable inside here uh, that holds this data, so I'm just going to go ahead and call that data. So what we're going to be doing now is when we display the results, we're going to be setting the value or the contents of this div to this data value here. So let's go ahead and test that out. Uh, we're going to uh, use a selector to select the search results div, which is just here. And then what we're going to do is set the HTML to something, and this will be data. So as we send data to search.php and this data here, we return the contents in this data variable of search.php. For example, if we were to just uh, say echo um, from search.php, um, the data would then contain, uh, contain this value here from search.php. 